Good evening friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will just have a small um, insight about the present situation in uh, software industries. See we have recession, layoffs, all these things are all common in any employment, any field or any industry. But sometimes what happens, uh, as far as I have seen, almost all industries have these layoffs and terminations of and uh, varieties, you know, there are uh, changes in employment uh, terms and conditions and all those things. But of late, I am hearing a lot of instances where the software industry is concerned. What happens is, once a project is complete or when it is going to get completed or the project is submitted, the company just denies access to the employees who are involved in a particular project and from that minute onwards the employees are no more employees of the software company. Now this is a very uh, rare happening, it doesn't happen in all the companies involved in software but I have come across a few instances where people come and ask me what is the remedy for this now at the outset let me tell you that there is something called the association okay association for it and ites employees wherein you can register your complaint and they will try to take some action against the it is not that they will not take any action against because there are no authorities it is just an association of the employees but they can guide you and they will try to help you out in the matter whatever you are facing regarding the employment. Other than this, this is just for the benefit of those who don't know that there exists an IT or ITES association. Okay, And uh, the information regarding this association is freely available in Google. You can go through it. So that is one thing. Other than that, legally if you have to go, of course the association will help you with that too. Other than that, if you don't want to approach the association, if you want to go to any other advocate or any other legal luminary to take action against the company where uh, which has denied access, you know, all of a sudden there has been a termination of service. Then what you have to do is, first of all, you have to gather all the information, whatever you have, you need to know, what you need to know is the company policy regarding such terminations. You would have got your offer letters, if not your appointment letters after probation, at least you would have got your offer letters. When you have got your offer letters, please read through the offer letter first. Make it a habit. Okay, probably you have gone through a reference or you have been, there has been a campus uh, placement, whatever it is, you know. First, make it a habit to go through the offer letter, see if all the points are there. And then you get into, you sign the offer letter. And please get to know what the company policy says regarding the employment terms and conditions. So once you get to know these two, then you can fight your case better. See, without all these inputs, no one can file a case or send a legal notice or anything. Because company policy differs. The basic law is the same for all companies though. But... Certain company policies, bylaws and their policies, company policies will surely differ. Most of the times it differs. So what you have to see is the employment terms and conditions. So first go through the employment terms and conditions and also get to know the company policy. So that if at all, God forbid, if at all you face any such situation, you will be in a better position to fight your case. Provided you have done justice to your job. Okay. Thank you.